Hello, YouTube B Stars 25 here. Today I'm gonna to play some more Ori or not Ori. I'm gonna play some more um Nair Armada part two. So let's turn this up. So mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Why is she so mad? Anyway, so I started playing and played the first, like, hour. Um, it's like the prologue or whatever. It teaches you how to play the game. And, um... I did that one with no commentary because I was trying to get as much as I could re recorded. So I just, like, I, um, the other videos, like when I did Ori and, and uh, um, The Will of the Wisps, when I did that, I um, live streamed it. So that's how I was able to get longer episodes because normally when I record, I usually do, like, 30 to 40 minutes depending on the game. So, and then depending on how much storage I have. Um, you know, to store the episodes and to record them and then to have, like, my voice and stuff like that. The year of mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end when the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine-like forms that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. So that's that the story right there. Your hub forces exist. To break this stalemate once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind. She's, she's the only one they have they can show their eyes, but the other ones have like their mouths Glory covered. To mankind. I'm not really sure what if it's gonna be like um, like a Final Fantasy type game, but it's like more action packed, and it seems like it's more like a, along those lines. It's like a slasher. It's more like Ninja Gated Two, so it's like Ninja Gated Two plus Lightning Returns <laughs> plus Terminator. That's what it seems like, all mixed into one. So that's I kind of I I really like it so far. I've never played this game. I heard a little bit about it, and I uh, really haven't seen that much gameplay because I didn't really want to spoil it for myself. Because I hate that. I I don't like to spoil um, any type of gameplay. I like to go in and fairly you know without any other opinions to be like, oh yeah, it's a crappy game. Other well, people say it's crappy, and then you know, I'd rather um, see for myself. So that's why I really don't um, watch a lot of other gameplay on YouTube unless it's a game that I know that I'm not going to play for myself. Like if it's a scary game, I don't play horror games really because it's just it's too scary. I can't do it. <laughs> um, So yeah, we're going to get into it, and then we're going to um, go to the City of the Ruins, which I didn't really record, because for some reason it wasn't recording. And then after that, I'm going to the um, Wasteland. 
So we go to the wasteland and it'll be the, the desert area. Okay, so now we're in the um, city of the um, the people that, that rebel. So I was looking around and there's a um, little tiny side quest in there. It's like you just go and then you just, um, this the areas are already marked on your map where you're supposed to go. And then you just go and get the treasures. They're, they're all right there. Like you don't have to go very far. And then that that is to go back. And then that's how you able to buy uh, weapons. And then you can also upgrade um, your person. So just like learning how to upgrade and, and like you know get experience points and stuff like that. And just trying to learn um, pretty much about the game and, and what to do. I'm trying to figure out the fishing too because um, I tried it like a couple times and I wasn't really sure like uh, where do you fish? I don't I didn't see any fishies in the stream <laughs> so like, what are you able to do with the fish? You give it to the people or because you can't eat it you're an android you know This is a lot like a Final Fantasy song. This is a lot like a Final Fantasy 13 song. <laughs> and it's like the map is so big, I wasn't sure um, where to go. What are your your limits on like exploring? I know I wanted to get everything because it seemed like you could get. Um, It seemed like you could get like um, special items, you know, like, you know, it seemed like there would be stuff hidden like this game. The one thing is that I'm not very good at, um, like if you can watch me play Ninja Gaiden, I'm not very good at like blocking. I had to teach myself to evade a lot more because the, uh, the evade is a big part in this game. I like the slide because it seems like it, you go faster when you're you're running. And she runs pretty fast, but see, like I got hit right there. That could have been avoided. Hopefully the sound is okay. It's not super quiet. See, like I should um I did search around there but I feel like I started to search around more and then um in this desert area they have like these caves you're from your right I've heard about you guys we've got a squad mate waiting in a rocky stretch up ahead head on over just remember that there's nowhere to resupply out there if you need anything best to take care of it here while you can what can I help you with? So at first with those things, I wasn't sure what to do. But then I seen on the item, because I uh, messed around with the menu a little bit more, and they can actually use those as an item. And then it makes your um, like defense and your hit attack up, go up. Like these charge attack things. But I should have waited to use them until I got to the boss. Because I think each level is going to have like a boss.
It's like, what are those red dots for? I wasn't sure. I should have investigated and went and looked at it, but... They kind of seemed far away and I wasn't really sure how I was gonna get to those locations. The red is like your destination. The black is like the machines. And then the blue is like your dead bodies. <laughs> I was like, okay, so you can go and find your dead body and then you can retrieve it and then it will give you um, experience points. Or you can revive your body and then your body will become your ally. The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our great So I think it's better to do service. the um, retrieval to get uh, more experience points. Because when I did do the other one, I, I um, revived the body. It, it was like not, not there. So it disappeared. So I guess they don't stay with you. I feel like those are necessary, like you're going to need those to upgrade stuff. So I'm going to investigate this cave that's over here. So I can't get back up right here. I get stuck, so I just figured that I would just go back down anyways. And this this cave system is like pretty big down here. But I wanted to try to find as much hidden stuff as I possibly could because I felt like it was like, uh, it seemed like it was important. And it seems like it's um, important to find like the materials, you know? I said I don't know how much time I wanted to spend down here looking for stuff. But I did get a lot of stuff though. should have saved it though too. I don't think about saving stuff like that because I always, I'm used to, you know, automatic uh, saves. <laughs> okay. I wonder what those are for. So I was actually reading about the game and then the saying that there's three different playthroughs that you play as three different people throughout the game, so. Looking forward to um, seeing how it's going to play out.
and like and, you know if anybody else really took took a lot of time to explore around. So I died right here. I wasn't sure really because I didn't know about like the healing, healing yourself and stuff like that. So we're going to skip through this part. So here's where I did the more exploring and I went down to the next part in the sand. So like I started to get a little bit more um, used to like the controls as I go on. I should pick that up. And then pick that up.
looks like this desert area is, oh, is really is really big, so I wasn't really sure where to go, and then, um, I feel like I should have took way more time to, like, explore. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. It'd be so hard to walk in sand with high heels on. <laughs> Report. Uh. Mail notification received from access point. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There is going to be more near Armada. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Easter 25 out.